Okay. My name is Yulin. Uh, who am I? Uh, yeah, I've been a C application developer for the past 10 years for in the card payments industry. So that's my background, right? And um, how do I actually get to this point? Like, so I will tell you a story. This is my dad. Hey, shoot, I'm so sorry. This is a tricky. Did I do? Oops, technical problem. Thanks. And let there be light. Okay, let's try this again. Anyway, all that's coming up. So that was a picture of my, uh, I was going to show you a picture of my dad. reason why is that, well, when I was growing up, my father, he graduated from Nian Poly in, uh, I forgot when, long, long time ago as E&E. &E. And um, at any time at my home, there's usually at least three computers. This was the, the scene that I grew up in. And um, basically, as kids, what we do is that we have typing tutorial games. And my father and my mother always wins, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> and, and me, my sister, and my brother we just keep trying and trying and trying. We always lose to them, no matter what. Yeah. Mom was an accountant, so she's really, really good at typing. Well, my first job was at data entry. I was always the type, fastest typer because of that experience. Reason why? Because of that, I think one of the biggest reasons, because of that, that all three of us end up in IT. Aww. Right? So that was one of the reasons. And all of us graduated. I mean, we, we started off roughly in the same primary school, different high schools, end up in the same university, you know, graduating from the same course. And yep, this is our life. So 30 years later, that's what you get. So that's our journey. And first job, your first job really, um, really defines your journey, you know, through software, through programming. Uh, that's so. so my first job was card payments, you know, C programmer, and that's where I stayed for the past 10 years. And the longer you stay in the industry, you tend to find that that's the only way your salary will climb a lot faster. You stay in the same industry. But my sister, uh, my sister started off as a C sharp developer in an engineering maritime, maritime engineering company, and she ended up developing all sorts of desktop applications, you know, iOS, uh, PHP and all that yep and my brother he his first job was in a cm in cms customer management systems and he ended up you know developing all sorts of customer management solutions for his clients and you notice sorry uh yep he owns his own company and you know develop software solutions for others right that's the first job Really, but definitely you. That's how you grow. I find that in jobs, right? Always, always, always stay in a job. At least try to stay for at least two years. You know, even if you find it hard. The first year is the, the all, all you do in the first year is just learning about the job, right? You don't really have time um, to to really learn. Uh, you only actually learn more on your second year. The first year is just trying out, you know, you're learning new things, you're experiencing new working environment, your colleagues and all that. Only in the second year, they actually learn something, you actually get something out of the job, no matter how hard or how difficult it is or how, how what do you call it, unsatisfactory the job is, you know. I would say, at least give it two years, experience it first before you change. And... Yep. Next, I want to talk about limits. So one of those things that you find out, you know, when you're starting out in the IT industry is you need to find a limit. I mean, I know sky is the limit, but in the workplace, that's not actually true. I want to tell you a story of how I found my limit. And this was like 3 a.m. at night. And I was like, I, was got, I got posted. I, I used to stay in Melbourne back then. And I got posted to Sydney to basically finish off this project for them. 
and gosh, my manager was like playing cards, drinking beer. I was like, come on, let's just finish this. I want to go home and sleep. You know, this is 9, 9 p.m. already. So I want to go and sleep. I was like, no, 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 you know, let me play cards first. 10 p.m. and everything, and 3 a.m. I gave up. You know, I shouted at my manager. I, was, I screamed at him. I was like, no. That's how I found my limit. Next day, I firstly, I, I, I didn't go in for work. I, I had to cool down. I knew, like, okay, I definitely have to cool down. I went out shopping and everything. I go to work at 12 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I found it. But know that you will have a limit. Don't push yourself too hard. You know, find your limit. Learn more about yourself. You know, that's what I'm saying. And yep, that's it. Thank you. And oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Thank you, Willie.